Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. The Janus of the Eastern Economic Corridor. What are you talking about? Well, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Patia Mail. That's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Patia Prowl, Two-Faced. Quoting directly, Patia is now turning to what some call a Janus resort. You see what you want to see. If nightclubs, gin palaces, and massage parlors are your thing, they are here in plenty. But moving along rapidly in parallel is the opening of more five-star condominiums and hotels, family entertainment venues, and increasing numbers of events under the MICE, Meetings, Incentives, Conferences, Exhibitions program. Napoleon was once asked in exile what the Battle of Waterloo had been like. Quote, depends where you were standing, unquote, he replied. Yeah, interesting. So we'll put a good article. Urge those who are watching this video, go check out that article in detail. But the... Yeah, in, in a lot of ways, and I think there's an element of this, you know, they say Janus was the two-faced god, you know, January is, Janus is the root word of that, because on the one hand, you're looking back into the last year, and you're looking forward into the new one, so that, you know, the two-faced god. Also, I believe in show business, where they have the two masks, you know, the one that's frowning and the one that's smiling, it's also a, a representative of Janus, but the... For the purposes of this video, I, there's another kind of facet of this where Patia, I think, is going to end up being very much kind of the epicenter, if you will, of the Eastern Economic Corridor, because you're going to probably have a lot of folks living there, maybe even having their businesses there, or living in Patia and then commuting to places, you know, on an, on an economic zone, special economic zone, you know, out in bonded areas, whatever, warehouses, manufacturing hubs. You know, all of this in the Eastern Corridor is, is really moving along at a brisk pace. And meanwhile, you know, people that are, for example, foreign nationals who are stationed in Thailand, working in the EEC, EEC, Eastern Economic Corridor, very likely they'll end up in the incorporated city of Pattaya, although not necessarily a foregone conclusion. And those folks could find themselves in a situation where they're looking for a more family-oriented kind of town. And I can definitely see this writer's point when he says, you know, th these things are kind of moving in parallel, where at one time, Patia was just kind of seen as a vacation resort that was, you know, sometimes bandied about as Sin City. Patia is a really big town. It's 20 square miles, the incorporated municipality. And it's very different from sort of place to place where you go there. And then on top of that, the EEC is quite a big, quite a big area, so there's a lot going on there too. Just something to keep in mind is this Eastern Economic Corridor, I think, is going to change things economically in that region of Thailand. And then simultaneously, we're seeing developments sort of in the tourism sector where we're going to see kind of an evolution in a different way than we've seen sort of the evolution of Pati in the past. I'm not saying I'm the end-all be-all on this. I'm just saying I've watched over the years kind of the way things have evolved, and we've seen things move into a sharply different direction the past few years. And I think it's a positive direction overall. I think it's very good for Pattaya. I think it's very good for Thailand, and it could be very good for folks looking to do business here in the Kingdom of Thailand. 